if you want to lock apps on Samsung Galaxy A56 5G, then we can use a secure folder to do so. And in order to set up the secure folder, we can go to settings, scroll down to security and privacy, then go to more security settings, and then choose secure folder. Press continue twice, and now we need to wait for the secure folder to be set up. Now, unfortunately, the secure folder does not completely move an app to the secure folder itself, but it rather creates a copy, a second version or a duplicated version of the selected app. So you can still have access to the default app that you have, for example, in the home screen or the app drawer. And the app that you have in the secure folder has separated data from the app that is outside the secure folder. All right. So now that we have the secure folder set up, now we need to set the password. So you can choose any of these types for the password and you can also use biometrics such as the fingerprint or face recognition if you have it set up. So let's say I'm going to choose a simple pin code. There we go. Enter twice the same password. And then you can also use your Samsung account in order to be able to reset the access in case you forget the password. I'm actually not going to agree to that, but of course feel free to do so. And then press next. And there is our secure folder. In order to find the secure folder, we can go to the app drawer and we can easily open it. Now, here is also a small tip. We can tap on these three dots in the, on the right side and go to settings. And we can switch the auto lock secure folder to each time I leave an app. Because by default, if you just exit the secure folder and reopen it, you will have normal access. You don't have to enter the password or anything. But if you make that change, if you exit even for a second and then go back, you need to enter the password again, which provides more security, of course. If you open it for the first time, then you need to enter the password, but the next time you can also use biometrics. And now, like I said, everything that we add to the secure folder has separated uh, separate data. And this includes the gallery and my files. So for example, if I open the gallery, there is nothing there because I didn't add anything yet. And the gallery that I have outside the secure folder has everything that I had so far. And the same goes with everything else. So if I press this plus button, I can choose which apps do I want to include in the secure folder. So let's say I'm going to choose Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, and let's press add. So now these three apps that I have added, um, they are like fresh versions of these apps that I am not signed into my accounts. I don't have anything stored over there. But if I want to open these apps, then I need to have the password for the secure folder. Now we can, for example, press and hold the finger on the app and press add to home screen. And then once again, add so that we have easier access to a specific app so that we don't have to really go to the secure folder. Um, in order to choose the app, we can just create the shortcut and we can app, open the app uh, from here. And that is essentially it. Unfortunately, like I said, as you can see here, I have the locked Facebook over here. I have the normal one. And while I can, for example, use a different account over here or store different data, regardless of the app, um, it might be inconvenient for some that the normal, non, the unlocked version of the app is still there. And unfortunately, there is little or not much that we can do while we can, for example, hide apps from the home screen and, and the app drawer, we cannot completely disable the access to these apps. So if you want to simply hide the app, then you can go to home screen settings. And then over here we have hide apps on home and app screen and then over here we can choose Facebook right and if I press done then the Facebook that I had over here is as you can see removed it is not here but the Facebook from the secure folder is still there and of course in order to open it I need to have the password now another thing is that of course like I said we do not completely re remove these apps and there are some ways to find those apps uh, for example, the easiest way, I think, is to simply go to the apps list. And over here, you should be able to find the Facebook app pretty easily. And you can even open it from here. Um, if you want to have, for example, a better protection or something, or if you want to make it work in a slightly different way, then unfortunately, you will need to use a third-party app. I still believe that the secure folder is good enough. 
um, because it allows you to pretty much add everything that you have on your phone and put it into the secure folder. And if you want to remove an app from the secure folder, then you can press and hold the finger on the app and then we have the uninstall option. While it says uninstall, we, only, we are only uninstalling the app from the secure folder. So the default app that is outside the secure folder will not be removed from our phone. And we also have some customization options. We can change the appearance of the secure folder app in the app screen. You can even completely hide the secure folder, uh, but uh, unfortunately we won't be able to access the secure folder itself if we do so. So you will need to, for example, turn it back on. Uh, with the option is over here, the add secure folder to app screens, screen summary. And that is essentially it. You can manage notifications and so on and so forth. So we have some options available and we can still provide the password for these apps. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.